Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Flashback Resellers. Um, I'm Linda. Is that what we're called? Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Flashback Resellers? Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> so I'm Cameron. We sell stuff online on platforms like eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, things like that. We're going to go over what's sold uh, from Friday through Sunday on all of our platforms. The little will break down the price. We'll show you the items. And at the end, we'll have kind of a profit breakdown so you can see what we're really taking home after all the fees and shipping and all that stuff. So... How did we do first? So this weekend we did 32 sales across three of our platforms for just under 15.35. So good much better than last weekend. Yeah, so we are happy sweaty. about that. I look really old like that. It looks it's better your like forehead. Yeah, my forehead makes me look wrinkly and old. Anyways, let's get into it. First item, where is it at? First up, first up on Poshmark, we have this pair of Nike Waffle Trainers. They, uh, the Waffle Trainer 2 SE, by the way. Made with real waffles. Yeah, they are a delicious treat for the morning run. And those are size 9 that sold for $34 plus shipping on They're not on in the Posh. perfect condition, but every platform, eBay, Mercari, Posh, um, even Depop, people are interested. So, it's like a best offer. It must on. be like a really good running shoe that even if it's not in the greatest shape you use, yeah, just for whatever reason. Because I had a lot of people interested. So, happy to see those ones go. Then, over on Mercari, our first up sale was this amazing Barbie fashion fever kitty corner room thing for uh, the one of the Barbie dream houses. It's adorable. It's leopard print and it's pink. And that sold for $15 plus shipping on Mercari. I spent five bucks on a box of Barbie and other like dollhouse stuff. And then I got a couple different pieces and I sold them individually. That's the first one to sell those. There so. we go. Then we also sold a Kodak Pix Pro for uh, with the charger for $65 shipped. Actually, I bought the charger and a battery for it. It came with one battery, but I bought the charger battery combo to add another one to it. Wow. I tested it and it works. I don't remember what I paid, five bucks for this one or something, but we do well on these cameras and this is the first one that's on Mercari, so now I know how to put other ones on there too. And then on Mercari as well, Mercari was our favorite stepchild this day. Um, and this is a three pack of Lionel, Lionel brand Polar Express diner passenger cars. Can't really see them because no, I bubbled them up. Uh, you'll, I think the camera puts a screenshot of these, but they're like a light blue with red um, Polar Express across the side. Um, and they are obviously the bigger trains. They're not the, O gauge. They're yeah, not they're, G scale, but these they're O gauge. Big ones. And those did sell for $120 plus shipping. We bought the whole train set for $110 and I bought it. And then we sold a bunch of track and different pieces for like 40 and 40, I think, or something mm -hmm. like that, or 40 and 50. It was like a hundred bucks. I think and, it was 40 and 50. And then I sold another piece, I think, for 40 something, the little switches. And then that was the track part. And then we've sold the engine for like 125 and now the cars for 120. I still have the um, caboose left. And then I have the transformer, one tiny piece of track, and then some little figures that go with it. So parting this train out was actually way better. It's easier to manage when it comes to packing. And it's harder to find someone who wants to buy the whole set, easier to find someone who wants to buy pieces or track or whatever. So very profitable for 110 bucks. Then over to eBay, we have this pair of Guitar Hero World Tour drum stand basses. Not the uh, best sale. No, two pack for $20 shipped. So we may make a couple bucks on that after shipping, but we'll see. Well, do, won't do that one again. <laughs> then we got Faces in the Crowd on DVD, sold for eight and some change. No, it's the top one, honey. Oh. Very top. There you go. Then we got a vintage big screen poker electronic game from 1995 these radica big screens some of them go crazy money i think there's one that goes for like 40 or 50 bucks but look out for the radica big screen some of them sell pretty well did i say that sold for 16 dollars shipped no mm. sold for 16 dollars shipped then we have this adorable little star wars figure um it's the mandalorian's the child baby grogu um he's a 1.1 inch figure have to add that 0.1 in there and he comes with that adorable little blue frog that he eats while he's there it's so cute 1.1 and he's just bigger than the one inches, you know, just yeah. by a little bit. Got to keep that one in there. Sold for $13 shipped. He was just in a big bulk buy. Then we have this RCA Audio Box uh, Media MP3 player. Sold for $20 shipped. I've told you guys before, and I'll say it again. Uh, usually people look out for the iPods and stuff. Look out for other MP3 players. RCA, even the Kobe ones from old ones from Walmart. Um, Sansui, I think. No, not Sansui. Sandisk, sorry. Makes them. Sansui makes electronics, but oh, okay. um, anyways, these this one didn't sell for a ton, but if you can get these at garage sales for a buck or two, a lot of times they have value. Some go for even more. Microsoft Zooms do pretty well. I just bought a brand new RCA one for 10 bucks, brand new sealed, and it'll probably go for about 60 bucks. So 
Then we have a Sony remote control for the AV system, sold for $17 shipped. Mm -hmm. Then next up, we've got the Poker Club for PS5. Look out for those PS5 games, because now that it's out, people will start getting rid of them, because that new PS system is coming out. We don't know when it is. Who knows? Who would just buy a game to play poker? But anyways. I don't know. Sold for $13 shipped. Then we have this Harajuku Lovers Fatal Attraction graphic t-shirt. Small, sold for $25 shipped. I think, um, what's it? No. Gwen Stefani or somebody wore that brand. Is it there? No. Some, I don't know if she, she made the brand or some, there's some famous person associated with it. Oh, okay. Then we have a Uniden remote base for a phone. So for $13 ship. That's the right one? Yes. There we go. Next up, uh, Cameron picked this up and showed it to Zane and Zane was like, you can keep that until I fit into it because he is a big Gravedigger fan. Uh, this is Gravedigger's race team shirt, Bad to the Bone. It's the 20th anniversary monster truck shirt. It's actually a lar uh, size extra large, so not one of the bigger ones from 2001 and it did sell for $50. Paid a buck, uh, listed it right away and it sold right away. Like The comp was for 40 bucks. I listed mine for 50 and it sold so probably could list a little bit higher but happy to see that for a dollar buy we did not save it for zane even though i was like should i she's like no he, we don't even know if he's gonna like it but he likes it now but there's no telling what happens but um now. that's a 2001 shirt because i guess it started in 81 i think so 20 years was 2001 so Math. very cool uh one dollar t-shirt buy next up we have these um old pencils these are eberhard Faber Real Wood American Naturals pencils. They're number twos, um, really but they're unused. That, but... And they sold for $16 shipped for uh, 19 of them. Is that 19? Yeah, yeah there's 19 okay. in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I paid like a buck for them all. Then so. here comes that opera buy that we love. This is a lot of 40 plus classical and opera CDs. We've got Verdi, Strauss, Donizetti, Classical Rossini. Mm -hmm. And those Italian. sold for a hundred dollars ship for the pack of forty plus CDs. When I went through all the opera CDs, these were the ones that were selling for like five, six, seven bucks. Not really a whole lot. A lot of them together, sold them for a hundred. Happy to clear out the space. But we have we've already sold a couple, I think, little ones that have sold, and I have some more listed that were like more ten, twelve, fifteen dollars CDs or had some decent sell through. So. And speaking of the uh, the opera buy, here's a another opera music on DVD. DVD uh, Puccini, not Puccini, probably. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's Pu Pucci? Puccini, Puccini, Puccini mm -hmm. il Tritico. Or it's Puccini, but I don't Puccini. know. Anyways, I don't know. and that sold for forty-five dollars. Forty-five shoot. bucks for that. That was an offer to Watchers. Then Cameron tried this on, didn't fit him, so he decided Definitely to sell it. Definitely my style, just a little he bit. He really likes the animal print. This is a new mm. tags Ellie McCarthy uh, dress. is a sleeveless uh, maxi animal print dress. It's a 3XL and sold for $30 shipped. Yes, it did. I don't know much about dresses. Then Camp 2022, our underwear. This we is... saved it for a whole year, and now we're selling it. <laughs> we picked no. these up for $2 a piece, and then they sold on eBay for thirty, almost $34 shipped. They're a two-pack of six, so you get 12 briefs in a purchase. Uh, size eights, extra large. Um, pick those up at a trinket store that has other stuff, too. So it like, It sells if you a lot stuff, of, like... Um touristy souvenir stuff yeah. but then it also has like some supply like necessities like yeah. soap and i think and stuff like that too yeah so but um she had all these in the back and cameron said i'll buy them for well, you from four dollars the year before yes yeah, so the year before i offered her she had them at eight bucks i said would you sell them all to me at half off four bucks a piece she's like no i couldn't do that i'm like okay no worries and then i came back the next year we went to because linda likes to look in that store and so does her family and they were down clearance for two bucks and i'm like i'll take them all and she remembered me she, so goes, she probably dang it could have got them for four <laughs> but um we're happy we don't make a ton four into 30 whatever 30 something so and we Almost don't we don't yeah. sell them all, all that often but they do sell they're not super super vintage that's why they're a little bit not as high as some of like you can buy one pack of underwear and sell for 50 bucks depending on what it is from the 80s or whatever so we, we sold that um on thursday we sold a pack of our no, hey, one one Hanes, one Hanes Herway Hanes from Herway the 90s for, for 17. 16. Yeah, by just an individual underwear that was an individual. Uh, so. so, yeah. But these there ones still sell. It was worth it. And we get multi quantity listings. So that's great. Then we got this amazing Callaway GBB Epic 5 Fairway Wood. It's 18 degree Fuji Fuji Cura Pro. Um, it's a graphite shaft and it did sell for $225 shipped. 50 bucks on this one. This is one that I got from um, when I 
bought a bunch of brand new Callaway and different stuff. It was 50 bucks. That's right. We sold a putter for, I forgot what we sold the putter for, 200 or 180 or something. And then something I sold like that for 225. I think I have one club left over there. Yeah. One club left. Um, and then I have the big golf bag that you guys haven't seen, but it's listed for like 1200. So yeah. Very profitable. Nice. Then we got a six pack of Kirby Micron Magic uh, filter bags sold for $17 ship. These were just in a bulk buy. Uh, vacuum bags, don't go crazy on them, guys. You usually want the official brand and you got to get them pretty cheap. They're not usually selling for a ton. Then we have Mortal Kombat 2, oh. the ultimate That's 11. for oh, 11. <laughs> sold for, P or for PS5, sold for $22 ship. Mm -hmm. Then we have from Camp 2023, an LG Blu ray remote, sold for $14 shipped. That's pretty good for LG. It usually doesn't sell for a lot. For a month. Then we've got The Adventures of Long John Silver, Volume 1, 2, It's a story and about three. the restaurant. It's really great. I love that restaurant. I know you do. And that sold Nothing for... Nothing like a fried piece of cod, right? $30 shipped for the three-pack. Then we have this vintage Christian Ajad, Eau de Perfume. It's a splash of 1.7 ounce. Um, I'm not going to pronounce that one. Sold this for $35 shipped. Very nice. Very nice. Then we've got April Wine, First Glance on um, Vinyl, sold for 11 and some change. Not a whole lot, I just, sometimes I'll list vinyl if they're in good shape, but some of them are worth money, some of them are, be careful. And it's not sealed, it's just the plastic yeah, just still on the plastic it. on it. Somebody just did a nice little slit on the side. A lot of them did that and it did protect, I guess, some of the vinyl, you know, the covers or whatever. Yeah. Something in my eye. Then we got an iPhone 12 Pro Max empty box, sold for $12 shipped. Mm -hmm. Then uh, at our bin store, Cameron found these. These are the gum go-between cleaners. Um, and there's 60 brushes, so you get six six packs of 10. Mm -hmm. And I think that they would be seven bucks for them. Yeah, I think it was seven bucks. They had them all, it was all in one bag together. And I was hoping she wouldn't charge me seven per piece. Because no, it's seven for the whole bag. So I bought them and Nine. they sold for? $27 ship. So they'll go first class. I wish they had more. They had more, but they were all individual. Yeah, we weren't So I was hoping they had another yeah. couple bags because it would have been worth it to grab them. But Then out of our beta buy, these are uh, beta max tapes. Mm -hmm. They're not VHS tapes. They're uh, probably two thirds the size of a VHS tape. Um, this is Mutant from 1985. It's a rare horror 80s film and that did sell for almost $14 shipped. Yes. I, I'm in these for like 20 bucks for like 50 or something of them. So next up, we've got these rare good sale. Bates, California leather motorcycle chaps. These are a size 34. They're vintage. They it's are rare. A bit. Pick them up at our local Salvation Army. I think for Army. 10 bucks, these Bates vintage leather in great shape for what they are. And sold. they sold for $238 shipped. Probably one of my best Salvation Army buys. Only the one that might be up Army. there would be the large charmander that I use for trunk retreat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's like he's the huge. one that everyone will buy. From Everybody him. wants that Charmander. He's one of the old ones, and he's tall and he's big. And I got him at a Salvation Army by my work. I don't know, ten oh, years weird, ago, eight, years. nine years ago, you for forever. seven bucks. He's probably not worth as much as those baits, but I love him. <laughs> he's great for he's my trunk for trunk or treat. I do Pokemon. Value. I do Pokemon. I have a little. I'm, I dress up as Ash Ketchum, so. It's awesome. I'll have to put a picture up this year. Yeah. Anyways. Then um, some of our one. sealed stock. Or no, is it? I don't know. That's what's in the box, right? Oh, it's a lot of two. Yeah. Okay. Um, these are Mary Kay's clear proof deep cleansing charcoal masks. They get uh, two packs for 22 and some change. I don't really like selling Mary Kay stuff. And I don't think I'm going to do it much more. I think sometimes they'll Vero you. And they also think just, just a problem type of brand. I don't know. Some people sell it and do so well. I just, I'm not. Sure, I want to pick it up. That one came in a bulk buy, but I saw some the other day at a thrift store and I didn't buy it. I think you really got to make sure it's the newer stuff, too. I know some people will buy the older discontinued stuff, but... I had a lot of questions on it, on uh, asking for codes on it and expiration dates and stuff. And I was like, eh, 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 and I'm looking and, and looking. And I know I sold and I'm one. Like, eh. I sold one before. I, I sold Lady like a two-pack and one of them was perfect. And one of them, she said the consistency was off. So I just refunded her half. She was nice about it, but she was just probably just because it's older, it's something happened, you know. Yeah. So, but I don't want to really deal with that. So I'd yeah. rather deal with newer stuff. The problem is like a lot of it gets discontinued and people like that specific kind. And so they will yeah. chance it, <laughs> unfortunately. But I don't know if it's something I want to spend a lot of time on going for it. So yeah. Anyways, is that it? No, last but not least, we have this as is games G155 15.5 oh. I'll put it on the screen. Well, I'll show you it, but I won't open it up. Portable gaming monitor. 
it's hdmi it does have the power cord um it works but not like in great condition no it's a let me explain so oh, okay. it's a monitor that you can hook up like an xbox to like you hook up the uh, the hdmi to that and it has a screen so you could go bring it somewhere and have a screen with you to play and it holds the xbox and everything it's supposed to have external speakers that, are, that come out of the monitor so you can listen to it they won't work mm -hmm. but when you plug the microphone it has a headset i mean not the microphone the headset port in you can hear fine so the external speakers are not working but the ones mm -hmm. that you could you could put a headset on and listen and it plays perfectly i put an xbox hooked an xbox up played a dvd it worked fine would not play without that hooked up so um you could probably hook up some of your own external speakers maybe to that and it would probably play them but uh, i paid 10 bucks for it and they go for like 150 i think if they're in good shape 140 which is a pretty good deal. I would have paid 10. This one I resold it for. A hundred dollars shipped. So it's a little bit bulky, but this is my second one I've ever bought. They do sell if you can get them. So and I think they may have a newer model too. I'm not sure. But that's it. That's, that's it. all we got. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It's a good weekend. Yeah. Good weekend. And we also made some extra money. Can't tell you about it. But it's like six hundred bucks. So private sale, we'll call it. Almost seven. Almost seven hundred, so. Um, but we can't speak about that one, but just to let you know things are good. Thank you so much. Take care. We're blessed.